Hey, I'm Chase and this is All Things Rem. Today we're testing out dive knives. Now the dive knives we're going to be testing out today are the Cressy and the Underwater Kinetics. Now the Cressy dive knife I actually got on Amazon for like 30 bucks. One of the cheapest dive knives I could find. And the Underwater Kinetics is my buddy's dive knife. It is titanium. It runs about 150 to 160 bucks on Amazon if you're looking for the pointed tip. Now, why am I doing this review and why am I testing out these knives? Well, I love underwater sports, underwater activities. I love snorkeling and scuba diving. And I wanna know, is it worth spending the extra money for the better knife or is it just as good to buy something a little more affordable and a little more reasonable if you're starting out? Now, one of the things that a lot of people know is when you dive into a sport, especially something like scuba diving, no pun intended on the diving in, but you can spend a lot of money just going into the sport. An example would be if I wanted to buy an Aqualung BCD, I could either buy a used one for 150 bucks or I could buy one for 450 bucks. Now, a lot of people will buy the best of the best stuff and they'll find themselves only going out once or twice a year. To me, not really worth it if you're spending thousands of dollars on equipment when you could spend under a thousand dollars and get things a little more affordable. Through these tests, we're gonna do a series of three different things. We're gonna cut a fish line that's 100 pound. We're gonna cut a one and a quarter inch rope and half inch rope. Now, as we're doing this, I'm going to basically attach them to my ankles, drop me to the bottom of the 12 foot end of a, of a swimming pool, and then I'm gonna cut my way out. Now, the weight belt in no way is extremely heavy. It's about eight pounds. It's enough to offset my buoyancy to sink me to the bottom, but if I needed to, I could swim to the surface. Now, I didn't want to kill myself However, as we're going through this, you'll see that there is a point where I do actually sort of panic a little bit because, well, let's just hop into the review first of the Cressy dive knife. Okay, so there's not gonna be any actual unboxing of this dive knife. Now again, this is the cheapest one I could find on Amazon that I thought was of relatively good quality when it comes to affordable pricing. Now, Cressy is a very well-known brand in the scuba diving and diving community. In fact, I was looking at a BCD, a buoyancy compensator, um, to actually buy from Cressy. So they're not a bad brand, and it's just nice to see something that's a little more affordable. Now, this is designed for more warm water, not necessarily cold water. And I say that because it has a front pusher right here. Now, when you get into cold water, like the cold water in Alaska, and this is the only negative thing I have to say about this knife, when you get into cold water and you're swimming in 37 degree water in a dry suit, it's extremely cold. And the issue is, is that when you have a front pusher like this, sometimes it freezes and you can't get your knife out. Now, some knives do have side pushers here where you reach down and you would push it right here and then the, and then the knife would come out, which is actually a little bit better because it's closer to the actual notch that's holding the knife in. So if you need to break it free, a little easier. This, especially in cold water, this button could break and then the knife is useless. So let's put this aside. Now I'm actually pretty happy with the way this is. It's just simple, not too complicated when it comes to simple buckle and tang. Um, it does fit very well on the calf, which is where I wear it. So all in all, that's not too bad. Now the knife itself. Now the knife is generally like any other dive knife. It has a hard pummel at the bottom. So for hitting or anything else, it does have a line cutter right here. It does have a serrated edge and a straight edge on the front. Now, overall, I think this is pretty well constructed. I think that it's for 30 bucks. You could do definitely a whole lot worse. In fact, if I went to the local Walmart, it would be really hard for me to find a knife that's this good of quality for this cheap. In the hand, it does feel very good. It is slim and wide so it does offer a pretty good grip and it does have nice rubberized texture so it's not going to slip out of my hand in the water so all in all not a bad piece of steel especially the fact that it does have the stainless steel 304 now 
Honestly, I think that this is actually pretty well constructed. I think it's pretty reasonable. And I think for 30 bucks, you could do a lot worse. Now let's hop over to the pool. So the tests are gonna be three tests for the Cressy, three tests for the underwater kinetics. Now the first one here is gonna be a 100 pound fishing line that's attached to the weight belt, attached to my ankle. And you can see that right there, that line cutter made little issue cutting that line. And then the next one is the quarter inch rope. Now this is sort of that polypropylene rope, the like plastic eyes, the plastic eyes rope, I guess, that's used in water. Um, quarter inch, you can see, had no issue cutting through that either. Now, at this point, I've already got comfortable in the water. I, the knife easily sheaths back up, and then I go to the surface. Now, the next one is going to be the half inch rope. Now, I didn't decide whether or not I was going to cut one of these ropes or both of these ropes. Wasn't really sure how I was going to do with the wet half inch rope. But I'm at the bottom of the pool. I hold it tight, cut with one swipe made little issue, almost no effort at all. And then you can see that I'm surfacing here with no problem. Next is gonna be the underwater kinetics. Now, slowly I'm falling to the bottom again. I never used this knife before. It came directly off of my friend's scuba gear. Now you can see here I'm sort of joking around because again, I'm comfortable, but I reach out, I go pull the line and I can feel that there's much more resistance than from the brand new Cressy dive knife. Next is again that quarter inch rope. Now again, I'm really comfortable right now in my environment at the bottom of the pool, not really an issue. Now I draw the knife out of the sheath with no issue and you can see at this moment it doesn't cut at all. And I don't panic, but I'm like, what the hell? Why isn't this cutting? So I try it again, and still it doesn't cut. So after a third attempt, I'm sort of panicking a little bit and I rush to the surface. Okay, so clearly I'm going to need to do a re-review on these dive knives. I'm gonna have to have my buddy actually sharpen his titanium knife. He's had it for seven years. I don't understand why it's so dull and why he doesn't take care of it as much as he should. Now, as you're using equipment, equipment is only as good as how you take care of it. A knife is only as sharp as what you keep it at. You can buy a nice carbon steel knife that could stay sharp for longer. However, if you use it all the time and you don't actually take care of it and sharpen it, it's, it's worthless like the titanium knife. So we're gonna resharpen them, head out to the pool this weekend and do a re-review on the test. I just thought it was a good point to bring up when it has to do with taking care of your stuff, especially equipment that could save your life. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a comment at the content you guys would like to see on this channel. I have a lot of videos coming up in the future, so make sure you guys are hitting that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I drop that next video. Until next time.